Hello, my first graders. Today, we are working on, on page 596. That's our mid-chapter checkpoint for, ch uh, for chapter 10, okay? Mid-chapter checkpoint, page 596. If you're not on that page, pause the video, find that page, hit play when you're ready. All right. Use the picture graph to answer the questions. Do you wear glasses? Yes, no. Each circle stands for one child. How many children do not wear glasses? So use this graph to help us answer that. How many children do not wear glasses? So would that be yes or no? Yeah, that would be no, right? Do not means no, I don't wear glasses. Do not, no. So how many children do not wear glasses? You've got to count them. Well, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight children do not wear glasses. Remember, no means do not, right? No stands for nope, don't do it. How many children wear glasses. So if they wear glasses, would that be a no or a yes? It'd be yes. Yes, I wear glasses, right? Because the question is, do you wear glasses? So this one's yes. So how many children do wear glasses? What do you say? Three. So three children wear glasses. Okay, so remember when you're answering these questions, you need to answer them based off the graph. Think smarter. Use the bar graph to answer the questions. Ways to get to school. How we get to school. So do they use a car, a bike, or a bus? Here's our number of children. Okay, ways to get to school. How many children take the bus to school? Would you look at that chart? Tell me how many children take the bus to school? What do you see? Eight. That's right, there's eight children that take the bus to school. See, you can look across, it stops here at the number eight. You also can count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight children take the bus to school. All right, look down here, you're choosing yes or no. Is this sentence true? Choose yes or no. Five children ride in a car or ride a bike. So we need to use this chart to answer the questions. Okay, right here, how we get to school. Okay, more children go, five children ride in a, okay. So the first question is five children ride in a car or ride a bike. So look at the car. Is that true? Five children ride in a car or ride a bike? Well, they wanna know all together, right? Is it there five children who take a car and a bike? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. So that answer would be yes. Yes, five children ride in a car or ride a bike. Look at the next one. More children go by car than by bus. Okay, so is that true? Here's our car, here is our bus. Do more children go by car than by bus? So look at car, look at bus. Do more people take a car than a bus? No, car is smaller, isn't it? So we would say no. Fewer children go by bike than by car. Fewer children go by bike than by car. So here is bike and here is car. Are there less children that take a bike than a car? Less children take a bike than a car? Yes, only one takes a bike, right? Four take a car, so less or fewer take a bike. So we would say, yes, fewer kids take the take a bike 
than the car. All right, so next, my first graders, you are going to be taking a quiz on what we've learned so far in graphing.